What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here and today is Think Thursday. Welcome back everyone to yet another Think Thursday. Now today I've got a very special one for you. I did an interview with somebody named Desmond Glenn. Now Desmond makes up to $25,000 per month doing affiliate marketing and the best part is he barely works. He has managed to outsource a majority of this. So today what we went over was a few different tips that you can use in order to get your affiliate marketing business up and running or if you already have an affiliate marketing business these are just good general tips for you to keep, consider and keep in mind while you're doing it. Now, unfortunately, in the interview that I had with Desmond, the audio kind of crapped out on me, so I'm just gonna recap the key points that he told me and some really good advice that he gave me as well. So let's start off with how Desmond manages to get his links out there. He utilizes three different methods. He uses Facebook advertising, Facebook fan pages, and Instagram. So Facebook advertising is pretty simple. A lot of you know what Facebook advertising is. You pay to get your content out there. Now Facebook groups and Instagram are different. The reason he uses Facebook groups and Instagram is that he's trying to build a niche audience. He says that this is one of the key components to having a successful affiliate marketing business, and that is to make sure that you have a niche market. Now, in this example, what we're gonna be using is ClickFunnels because he says that ClickFunnels is one of his absolute favorite affiliate links to use. I will put a link in the description down below for you to check out ClickFunnels if you are interested in doing affiliate marketing. ClickFunnels is amazing because it gives you a monthly subscription payment. So if somebody jumps onto ClickFunnels, you get a percentage of whatever it is that they are paying each month and it's a very high percentage as well. So it's a really good one to have. I personally get paid by ClickFunnels every single month, a good chunk of change. I'm very happy about it and I've only made a few videos with ClickFunnels actually in it. So there's that. Anyway, jumping back over to the Facebook page. So if we were using, let's say ClickFunnels for example, the reason that he says that you need to create a niche audience is you need to have people who are interested in using ClickFunnels. So a good thing to do would be to have a Facebook page that teaches people tips and tricks regarding ClickFunnels. And you can find a lot of tips and tricks or how-to stuff on the internet and just kind of utilize that content and put it on the page. Now Instagram's a little bit more difficult for that because it is hard to grow a following. Uh, not a lot of people are interested in just following how-to videos regarding ClickFunnels. But you can still grow an Instagram page regarding entrepreneurship and maybe create an ad on your own page that says, I'm giving out a free ClickFunnels training course if you guys would like to check it out, links in my bio or just swipe up if it's on the story and then you can lead people into a funnel using ClickFunnels and at the end of it say, hey guys, I, I, this is how I made, went from you know, zero dollars a month to a hundred thousand dollars a month or twenty five thousand dollars a month, whatever it may be using ClickFunnels. If you guys would like to check out ClickFunnels, the link's in the description down below, just go check it out or uh, somewhere on the page, whatever it may be. That way you're getting people into using it. So that's just a really quick, easy method to do it. If you guys are wondering how you would convert people to using something, it's about kind of growing audiences that are more likely to use the service or program or uh, if you're actually doing physical products, the physical product that you're actually trying to sell. So like I told you earlier, Desmond doesn't do any of this work though. He actually outsources a large majority of it. The reason he does this is because it gives him a lot more time to do well whatever he wants to do. There's no point of sitting there working all day if you could pay somebody else to do it and you can make pretty much just as much money. Even if you were spending $3,000 on a personal assistant to do these things and content creators and, and writers and web designers, all this stuff, which is very doable. You can do it for much less than that and you're still making 30,000, I mean $25,000 a month, you're not gonna be complaining about that little bit of uh, change that you have to get rid of, it, it doesn't really matter. Plus you're able to grow your business a lot quicker. So the way that he outsources his content creation, uh, web design, click funnels, all that stuff, is he just goes on to Upwork.com and you guys have heard me talk about Upwork a ton on this channel. Upwork is a quick, easy place to find freelancers that will work for you for a pretty reasonable price, a lot better than a lot of the people that you'd find, let's say, posting an ad somewhere in your local area. These people are really good. Plus, you can check out all their reviews, see what the people are saying about them, check out their past projects. They can send you ideas. It's a really good place to grab freelancers. I use it all the time, and I will also leave a link in the description down below 
for Upwork. He also mentioned that YouTube is an amazing place to grow an affiliate platform. And that's why him and I actually partnered up to create a course regarding YouTube. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now a few tips on how you can make a lot of money doing YouTube and why I personally choose YouTube as my affiliate platform. Now I've been doing YouTube for like four or five years now, but I never really understood how to make an affiliate revenue. I always did, but not really on purpose. It wasn't until I really got serious. One of the first times that I actually reviewed Tanner Fox's affiliate marketing course, I made $12,000 the first month. Then the next month I made over $20,000 with one affiliate link. And the reason for this is because I built an audience regarding the niche as in entrepreneurship. I did an honest review regarding the program, put my affiliate link in and people chose to buy it through the link. It was as simple as that. The thing I find about YouTube and affiliate marketing is you pretty much just have to be honest. All of my YouTube channels have been kind of review and tutorial based. The reason for this is because I'm providing value to people. I'm trying to give out as much free value as I possibly can. And if they happen to buy through my link, awesome. Then I make some money from it. If not, at least they walked away with some value and I'm now trusted. And then if I ask for something later in the future, they're more likely to buy through it. So that is why I do a majority of tutorial videos, how-to videos, and reviews, and try and keep the reviews very honest. So like I said guys, Desmond and I did create a course completely around affiliate marketing. We're gonna be doing an opening sale because we haven't actually launched it yet. We had a few test students go through to kind of give us some feedback, but we have not launched the course officially. Depending on when you're watching this, you can check out the link in the description down below. It will either take you to a landing page that will be a waiting list for you to jump on for the course to get it first, for a discounted price because we are giving the course away for $199 to only 50 people. I don't know why I'm holding up 10, but only 50 people can get the course for $199 and then the price is going to go up. The reason that we wanted to do this is because we want to get some more test students in to really figure out what is going on with the course, how people feel about it, see if there's any changes that we can make. So if you'd like to check that out, again, link will be in the description down below. It'll be the very first link down there. Guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't already done so you can follow me here i'm on instagram i'm at hayden pedal don't forget i also have facebook i'm at hayden pedal on there as well and if you want to get real personal with me you can screenshot this guy right here and add me up on snapchat i want to thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you on tuesday